again, blog number six or seven or something. Uh, like I said in the last blog, I'm in uh, Nanning in the Guangxi province in South China. And I arrived here on Sunday, August 17th. And uh, I've been here for over a week now. Uh, let me just go over last Monday to Friday as I promised I would. Um, I'm here visiting a friend I know from Canada. I met her through badminton and uh, one of the main reasons or the main reason I'm here is because of badminton. I am uh, training every day. Uh, there is a famous coach here. Uh, he's a former Chinese national team player. Uh, he played for Team China and he was the only national team player to come from the province of Guangxi so he's a very famous coach here and um, basically every day um, last week Monday to Friday this was my schedule I'd uh, wake up around 8.30 I'd have some fresh baked goods from the bakery along with some Minute Maid orange juice and then I go walk about a 15 minute walk, it's about one kilometer to the club. Um, the morning club is actually on the fifth floor. It's a five story building and the badminton club's on the fifth floor. So by the time I get to the top, I'm already, I'm already sweating, I'm already tired because of the humidity. But uh, yeah, I train every morning from about 9.30 till 11.30 or about two hours and then I stretch and then I walk home and I shower and then I have some lunch, I come on the internet and then I need to take a nap because uh, it's very tiring, it's very exhausting so I take a one to two hour nap and then I get back up around three o'clock or just after three, I might have a little like granola bar or another snack and then about 3.30 I leave the room and uh, I catch the bus out front of my hotel here and uh, the bus takes me four stops in about 10 minutes to this uh, badminton center it's a different one for the morning for in the afternoon it's a little further away and uh, again it's on the fifth floor top floor of the building I don't know why they do that but I'm exhausted by the time I get up there uh, this place has 27 courts it's just massive and it's only for badminton and I take group lessons from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. Uh, I get a half hour break or 15 minute break in between but uh, it's basically four hours of group lessons so um, it's a little less tiring than the morning because the morning's a private lesson. So it's like one-on-one, -on -one, so it's constant work. Afternoon, you get a little more break because there's a bunch of people. But um, it's very, and then afterwards, like eight o'clock, come home, shower again. Uh, shower two to three times a day because it, it's necessary. I You go through every piece of clothing, you go through two or three times a day, two shirts, shorts, socks, underwear, <laughs> all that good stuff, because uh, it's humid here, so you sweat a lot. Um, but I'm adapting to it after the first week. The first few days were very hard to adapt to. I was drinking like I've never drank before. I had like five bottles of water a, a session, and like my shirts were the shirt shirts were soaked through and unbelievable um let me just run through a couple pictures here of uh of the badminton <laughs> session I bust back home I shower and then I either go out for dinner or if I bought some dinner at the supermarket I'll have it in my hotel here 
and then I spend probably two hours on the internet. I might watch a little TV and then I settle down and go to sleep because I need a good night's rest for the next day. And that was basically my uh, Monday to Friday last week and um, every day. Uh, last weekend, today is now Tuesday. I haven't vlogged in over two days. Um, Sunday I was out for over 16 hours and yesterday I was just lazy. <laughs> But um, I will blog about my weekend, Saturday and Sunday, and I will blog about the city here, about Nanin, because uh, it's much different than Beijing and much different than that. But um, yeah, that's all for now. I will update you again as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>